Now we study another interesting issue called mining negative correlations. So we first need to distinguish rare patterns and negative patterns. What is a rare pattern? Rare pattern usually means there are some rare occurring items. They have very low support, but they are interesting. We want to catch such patterns. For example, buying Rolex watches. How to mine such patterns? We previously already discussed this. Is for different item sets, like for those rare items, we should be able to set some individualized group-based minimum support threshold. That means for rare patterns, for just those items, we should set a rather low minimum support threshold. Then we will be able to capture such patterns. But negative patterns could be another very different one. Negative pattern means those patterns, they are negatively correlated. That means they are unlikely to happen together. So for example, if you find some customer, the same customer, who buys Ford Expedition, which is a SUV car, and also a Ford Fusion a hybrid car together. So they are unlikely to happen together. So we call these patterns negative correlated patterns. The problem becomes how to define such patterns. We may have one support-based definition like this. We say if the item sets A and B getting together their support is far less than support of A times support of B, that means the chance they get together is far less than random. Okay. Then we can say A and B are negatively correlated. Is this a good definition? Actually, this definition may remind us the definition of lift. Then we may see whether they work well for large transaction data sets. Let's look at one example. Suppose a store sold two needle packages, A and B, 100 times each, but only one transaction containing both A and B. Okay. Then we will see these two needle packages, A and B, are likely negatively correlated. But when there are in total only 200 transactions in your data sets, you may see support A and B getting together because they got only one time. So 1 over 200, you get this number. This is a pretty small number. Okay. But then you look at support of A, which is 100 over 200. 200 transactions, so it's 0 0.5. Same as support of B, so their product should be 0 0.25. So this number is far bigger than this. That means support of A and B getting together is far less than support of A times support of B. So we can easily say A and B are negatively correlated. They are negatively correlated patterns. Okay, but when this store sold in total 10 to the power of 5, that means 100,000 transactions, then suppose all the others does not contain package of A nor B. Then the situation could be completely different because support A and B together is 1 over 10 to the power of 5. But support of A now is 100 over 100,000, so you get 1 over 1,000. Support B is also 1 over 1,000. Once they time together, you get 1 over 10 to the power of 6. This number is even smaller than A and B getting together. Then you may say, oh, A and B getting together is very frequent, or it's positive correlated. Actually, it's not. What's the problem? The problem actually is in our transactions. Because there are so many transactions, they contain neither A nor B. They are null transactions. Okay. So we probably can see a good definition of negative correlation should take care of the null invariance problem. That means when two item sets A and B are negatively correlated, they should not be influenced. Okay. Whether they are negatively correlated or not, they should not be influenced by the number of null transactions. Okay. Now we give you another interesting definition, which is a Kuzinski measure-based definition. That means if we want to say A and B, whether they are negative correlated, what we need to see is A and B are frequent, 
but the condition, the probability of A under condition of B and the probability of B under condition of A, their average should be less than epsilon, where epsilon is a small negative pattern support threshold. Then we probably can see A and B negative correlated can be justified for our needle package problem. We can see no matter there are in total 200 transactions or 100,000 transactions, if we say epsilon is 0 0.01, we probably can see this Kurzinski measure based judgment, we can easily see the average of the conditional probability should be less than epsilon. So they are negative correlated. Okay. So this seems to be a very interesting and a good definition. And how to mine them? Actually, these are the methods similar to our previously discussed pattern mining method. We will not discuss it further.